Hello everyone, it's Chantel with Coffee or Tea, and I would like to introduce you to Mr. Walter Lane, creator of Florida Steppers International. Hello Walter, how are you? Hi doing? Chantel, how are you doing? Good, and yourself? Fine. Walter, you retired from the Army. Why are you now teaching dance, and when did you begin? Well, I began in 2011, but it goes all the way back as a kid. Uh, my father had three clubs, and I used to dance in my father's club where uh, I used to do the James Brown, and some of the ladies used to give me 25 cent, 50 cent, and uh, to see James Brown because uh, James Brown used to come to my father's club. He performed there. Also, we uh, we had dancing in school. Uh, one of the things that uh, uh, we did, we did bopping in uh, in the PE class. And so, since I took up dancing in school and dancing uh, from my father's club, I always had that that knack of dancing, even when I was in the military. And once I retired, I saw stepping, and it was such a beautiful dance, and I said, I got to learn that dance. And when I was up in Detroit, working for Detroit News, uh, for about 11 months, I took a couple of classes, and then I came back to Florida. There was no uh, place that I could learn how to step. There was an organization, and then I learned how to step, and then once I learned how to step, because I used to teach in the military, it was easy for me to transfer from teaching artillerymen to stepping once I learned to do this dance, and I started in 2011. And why did you choose to raise funds and awareness for sickle cell? Well, when I first started, I always wanted to do something uh, for the community. My mother, she passed away from breast cancer, and uh, so I uh, started raising funds for breast cancer because when I started my organization, uh, it was for childhood obesity. Then I moved to breast cancer, started raising funds for breast cancer, and then I had a friend of mine who lived in Deltona. She, her daughter had sickle cell, and I used to see how much pain she was in. Uh, and then uh, I found out that one of my classmates' uh, granddaughter passed away from sickle cell. And once I started reading up on sickle cell, I found out how sickle cell was so prevalent in the African-American neighborhood, and then I decided to do something because I had a vehicle, my organization, Florida Steppers International, I raised funds, and so I decided to start raising funds for Sickle Cell, uh, and, I, and with the uh, foundation, uh, and Chantel Wright, I started raising funds for her foundation. And w would you tell us why you believe dancing is like a good marriage? Well, uh, one of the things that uh, I, 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 I teach, I teach marriage ministry. I teach Stephen as, as, a, as, a, as a component of marriage ministry because I found out that when you got two people doing like-minded things, husband, wife, girlfriend, and boyfriend, you know, sometimes the boyfriend, he goes one way and the girlfriend goes one way and the wife goes one way. But with stepping, uh, if two individuals learn how to do this dance, you got two like-minded people doing the same thing and that can bring them together. Uh, one of the things that uh, I, I teach in my class is that I teach the ladies how to hold their hands. Uh, and when they hold their hands out, I tell them to hold your hands like you get your nails done at a salon. And a lot of times, ladies uh, who have not had their nails done, they want to hide their nails uh, because they're so busy taking care of the household, taking care of the husband, taking care of the boyfriend, and they don't care about themselves. And once uh, I tell them that their nails need to be like they're getting their nails, hands like they're getting their nails done, they go get their nails done. When they come back to class, they got their nails done. Then they got their uh, hair done because now they find out somebody is paying attention to them. So stepping, it builds self-esteem and uh, it brings people together because before I started stepping, I was not on Facebook. And now that I am on Facebook, I got 4,000 friends uh, uh, all across the country from, from the vehicle of stepping. How does dancing help people, especially those who are busy taking care of others? Well, uh, dancing is like a it's it's like a hypnotic uh, function that when you're dancing you feel good, and when you feel good you can make other people feel good because this is this dance is is, is like a, a a a family where people can come together and start taking care of other people because dancing brings people together. I mean, I used to teach for the fourth graders. And one thing I learned when I was teaching the fourth graders is that uh, they didn't have any discipline. This dance brings discipline to anybody. And so when I was teaching the boys, the fourth graders, then they started paying attention to the young ladies. So dancing is, is a vehicle that can bring people together and help other people because this dance, we talk about the blood pressure checks, 
uh, cholesterol screening, it's a form of exercise. So dancing can really, really help other people. And how many Florida steppers participate in the program? Well, since I started working with the Florida Department of, Florida, uh, Florida, Florida Department of Health, uh, I've always had a, free, uh, a large class because I teach free. One thing I do believe in giving back to the community. Uh, I'm not here to try to make money, so I was teaching the step in free to bring people together. And uh, so once I start teaching uh, for the Florida Department of Health, I got over 140 some students right now and it's steady growing. That's wonderful. Do you have anything else you'd like to tell our Be Unique viewers? Well, um, not just teaching stepping, uh, I do a monthly party so the people can have a vehicle or a place to go to practice what they learn in, in, uh, in class. They get the confidence by going to different parties. They can come to class all they want to, they can learn all the moves, but they don't get the confidence until they actually go and uh, participate in the different events. And I try to do that once a month. I also have one of the biggest, one of the largest uh, Steppers event in Florida, where I have four to 500 people coming in every year in August. I have people coming in from California, New York, Chicago, Memphis, all over the, all over the country just to come here for that weekend. Uh, my theme is, uh, I kind of adopted from Walt Disney. And I say, well, you don't have to come to Orlando for Walt Disney, you come to Walt, uh, Orlando for Walt Lane, for his all white stuff with extravaganza, which is a four day 14 party event. So Walter, let's say if people want to get involved with Florida Steppers International, how do they go about doing that? Well, I have a website, uh, which is www.flsteppersint.com. Uh, it is a beautiful website. They can go to that website, uh, send me emails, request to become a member of Florida Steppers, and it doesn't cost a thing. And everybody around here know Walter Lane is uh, one of the steppers that really, really cares about this dance and care about the people, and they can contact me, uh, either one of those vehicles. Thank you so much for being unique and taking out the time to talk to me today. And we're so fortunate to learn about amazing people like you. Thank you.